Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this Furion stainless steel gas RV wall oven with LED knobs. This propane wall oven is going to give you all you need to cook a quality meal in the kitchen of your RV. Now this oven does feature this really nice and attractive stainless steel finish that's a, it's a, actually a brushed stainless steel finish. And it has this three layer glass oven door that is going to open and close very smoothly for you. It's got a really solid hinge system here. And then when you have that door closed, you're not gonna have to worry about it uh, accidentally opening up while you're going down the road. Now inside we have this oval shaped burner that might be kind of difficult for you to see, but that's going to help distribute heat evenly when slow roasting or baking. And as you can see, I do have this oven connected to 12 volt power. And in the back there, you can see our 12 volt oven light bulb that's going to illuminate uh, inside. While I have this door open, let me go ahead and turn my lights off real quick in my studio. That kind of gives you an idea of the brightness. I've got my hand here all the way um, on the other side of the inside of the oven, so you can see that. Also, you see our LED knobs that are lit up very nicely and we'll talk about those knobs in just the next few minutes. So we have, um, uh, our capacity here is going to be two cubic feet. And this comes with an adjustable oven rack here, as you can see, and it locks into place, so you're not gonna have to worry about the oven rack uh, accidentally trying to slide uh, around inside of there. So you have um, s several uh, levels of adjustability. And then when you uh, push this back into place, that's going to be nice and secure in there. So you're not gonna have to worry about that rattling around. And we also have this drip tray. Let me see if I can pull that out there for you real quick so you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. And again, that's just going to secure in place so it's not sliding or rattling around in there. And then we also, um, have our uh, baking tray as well. So you're gonna have quite a bit of flexibility inside of this uh, two cubic feet capacity oven. And then closing the door here, I wanted to talk about these knobs that I mentioned earlier. These are, as I mentioned, LED manual knobs and they have a nice glow to them. Again, turning my lights off. And then um, you also see our LED display and it's all set at zeros there. Now, I wanna make sure that you know that this LED uh, display only displays the timer. It does not display a clock. It does not display the temperature setting. It only displays our 24 hour timer here. So that can be adjusted by turning. And uh, let me again turn my lights off so you can maybe see that display. So you can see it's flashing when I adjust it. And then when you set it to where you want it, let's say 30 minutes, you push the knob in and then that's going to start counting down. So again, um, that LED display is simply for our timer, uh, doesn't have a clock or temperature setting. So I just wanted to make sure that you were aware of that. Now over here on our temperature knob, uh, this has, um, um, it, it can be adjusted all the way up to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. It does have a pulse igniter and uh, also this oven features a, a gas safety auto shutoff valve. So let me go ahead and disconnect this from my 12 volt power here and just kind of uh, give you an overview. Now, this oven does feature a cooling fan with uh, the counter height rear venting cavity. And I'm gonna get one, I wanna give you just a overhead look here to show you that cavity. And then this also comes with this finishing face plate for your venting. So as you can see, I, I have the hardware just kind of mounted loosely here to give you an idea of where that hardware is going to go. And then we have our finishing plate there as well. So really this is going to have everything that you need to get started 
and you see an overhead view of what this is going to look like. Going back to our close-up view here, wanted to point out that this does have a, an LP regulator that's included with this oven. And then here's our uh, positive and ground power connection to our 12 volt power connection. So this 12 volt 9000 BTU oven features both vibration smart and climate smart technology so they can handle whatever your adventure is going to throw at you. The um, vibration smart technology uses a variety of dampeners, shock absorbers, strong brackets, and improved electrical wiring that you would not usually see in residential models. This means that this oven can resist damage from bumps and handle the nonstop vibrations that you may even feel while you, may, that you may not even feel while you drive. The Climate Smart technology uses weather resistant circuitry. So this oven is built with more robust materials and tested for temperatures between negative 27 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 136 degrees Fahrenheit. So what this means for you is that this oven will function well in any conditions and will be safe from damage caused by heat or cold when your RV is in storage. Now just some overall dimensions to kind of give you an idea of the size. Beginning with the overall length from end to end, we're sitting right at about 24 and 3 quarters inches long. The overall height, must uh, hit my plate there, the overall height, we are sitting right at about 20 and 11 16 inches tall. And then the overall depth, including our handle, so all the way from the back end to all the way up to the face of our handle, we're sitting at about 22 and 1 8 inches deep. And this oven weighs about 70 pounds. And instructions are included to go over in more detail the features that we talked about and then walk you through the installation process. Well, that's going to conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.